the takeaway from that is to make a list of what you do every day, to make a look at what really produces, what really has meaning, and you want something that produces the most and then also has the most meaning. So you can't wait to go there and do it. You don't need motivation to do it. If you require motivation to do what you say is important, it's not important. If you require motivation, um, you're not going to get the most powerful intrinsic drive in your business. And when you can't wait to go to work, people can't wait to get your service. But if you're not inspired to go do it, and you feel bogged down doing things that aren't inspiring to you, you're, you're killing the business because you're, the energy level drops and the thickness of the energy uh, thickens. So that's the take home, is to prioritize what you do and be honest about what's really truly productive and meaningful and do a metric on it so it's not just hypothetical, not what you hope it will be, but what's really there. And then slowly but surely delegate all lower priority things. For many years now, I basically research, write, travel, teach. Those are the four things that I love doing that seem to help me fulfill my mission the most. And everything else is let go. I let go. I don't do anything else. I, I don't drive. I haven't driven in 27 and a half years. I don't cook. I haven't cooked since I was 24. Um, I delegate pretty well everything. And I can be thankful to um, the time trap for starting that journey. Because I don't think I could do what I love doing. And I don't think anybody can do what they're really inspired to do as long as they're doing lower priority things and doing what they're capable of giving to other people and encouraging the growth of the economy by giving job opportunities to people who would love to do what you would love to delegate.